Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackwitz. This is the Cage Review, and I wanted to do another Cage comedy reaction for John Panette. Um, after seeing his last one, I really liked it. It was one of my favorite things that I'd done for a Cage comedy reaction. And so I wanted to pull apart uh, I Say Nene and do another reaction from that. And this is Salad, Juicing, and Bread. Interesting. He's always talking about food. You know, big guy. Um... But, yeah, dude, the last time he was talking about outdoor activities from I Say Nene, this is from the same special that he did, um, just really had me laughing. So I wanted to check this out, too. So that's what I'm going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, John Panette. And uh, that's, I went to one nutritionist. I walk into his office. He says, well, the good news is you can have all the salads you want. Whew. That is good news. I was nervous. I came in here thinking, please God, anything, don't take away my salad. <laughs> How will I live without mixed greens? You mean I can have all the radicchio I want? Stop, I'm getting a chubby. <laughs> he wanted me to eat salad as the food. Salad's not food, salad comes with the food. You go out, you order a steak, what do they for do? Real? They bring you a salad. They don't even charge you for it because it ain't worth anything because it ain't food. <laughs> salad I, is I a agree. promissory note that food will soon arrive. <laughs> I never learned to think of salad as food. If I see a salad, I go, something good is going to happen soon. <laughs> I'll wait right here. That's and, funny. and I've been on diets for over 20 years, off and on. And every part of a diet has been salad. So I see a salad, and there's not a lot of joy there. <laughs> I go, oh, good, a salad. What would you like on your salad? haagen <laughs> Melt the haagen to look like ranch. Just do it. My nutritionist said, how about steamed vegetables? <gasps> That's heated <laughs> salad. I don't want that either. <laughs> One nutritionist recommended sushi. Sushi is high in protein, low in calories. There are some wonderful Japanese dishes. Japanese food has great aesthetics, great presentation. But sushi, it's wrapped in seaweed. Now, that's ocean salad. I'm not eating that. <laughs> And you're not supposed to eat seaweed. I picked that out of the crack of my ass at the beach. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat that. I never went to the beach and went, hey, honey, we got sandwiches here. Hold on. What are you getting pizza for? I hope that's not how it's harvested. Sumo wrestlers up and down the beach at Osaka. I'm a fool now. I'm coming in. I went to an herbalist, nice lady. This herbalist lady, she said to me, uh, are you a vegetarian? <laughs> Not in the strictest definition. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be a vegetarian. Like, I don't eat veal, but he grows up. <laughs> I'll kill him on the front lawn. He's got to go. Actually, I don't eat veal because it gave me nightmares. I, I dreamt the mother cow came into the restaurant while I was eating veal parmesan. She'd walk in, have you seen Timmy? <laughs> I'll help you look for him. Let me get a doggy bag. So no veal. And I used to love lamb. Lamb chops, yitos, my favorite. Oh, lamb. I love your meat. My friend owns a farm. I go up to the farm. He has livestock. He gives me a baby lamb to hold. It falls asleep in my arms. I love lamb. He says to me, it fell asleep. It trusts you. It has very poor judgment. <laughs> then I bit it right in the ass. No, I'm holding this lamb knowing I'm never gonna have lamb again. 
It is kind of tough, honestly. And he said, would you like to see the cows now? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I'll see them at McDonald's. Can't buddy up to everybody at once. <laughs> this herbalist told me, she said, for the first month, I want you to juice. To juice. I don't know what that means. Juice is not a verb. What do you want me to do? She wanted me just to have juice. And she sold me a juicer. I thought it was a wood chipper. You can juice stuff I didn't know had juice in it. And I didn't do well on just juice. Third day, I juiced a ham. <laughs> she called me up. How you doing? I'm juicing. Let me get this Krispy Kreme in here. We'll be good to go. <laughs> and then she said to me, I bet you have a block colon. Now, horrible visuals came to mind. I'm thinking, how are we going to unblock this bad boy? Here, attach this to your garden hose. <laughs> hey, I have neighbors. I'll, I'll get a letter from the homeowners association. Please do not clean your colon on front lawn. Signed, all of us. Uh, she said it's very easy to cleanse your colon. She said, you're juicing, right? Yeah! <laughs> Take these herbs, put them in your juice three times a day. After a month, your colon will be clean. I don't know what was in the herbs, but I called her an hour and a half later from the bathroom. Hey, crazy lady! <laughs> I'm sending back the rest of the herbs. Mission accomplished. <laughs> My colon is clean. I swallowed a quarter when I was seven. Fifty dollars came out. My ass hit the jackpot. When I walk, I whistle now. Sounds like I have Zamfir, master of the pan flute in my ass. I tried the low carb thing. Now, people have gone low carb hysterical. I understand I eat way too many carbs. A pasta, bread, a big problem for me. And I really have to cut back. But people think in LA, we're like, they're all skinny. You know, you eat a piece of bread. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> if this stuff were that bad for you, I would have been dead 10 years ago. Trust me. <laughs> Relax. And I tried the low carb bread. Have you tried it? It's horrible. I tasted it. I thought the wrapper was still on it. It's nope. not like it went bad. It never went good. They have, I can't believe it's not butter. They should call it, this ain't bread. Because it looks like bread, but it has no other properties of bread. I said, you know what, I'll butter it. That'll make it better. Butter won't go on it. It slides right off. The butter's like, where are you putting me? Jam and jelly beats up and falls off it. Did they scotch guard this at the factory? You know what I'll do? It's okay. I'll toast it. I'll make a sandwich. I'll toast it. It's better when you toast it. It doesn't toast. You can't toast it. I'm out in the garage with a blowtorch. It's absorbing the heat like a space shuttle tile. How does this break down in your system if you can't toast it? They're gonna dig me up in 5,000 years ago. Oh, he was on that low carb thing. <laughs> See that disc? We've seen a lot of these. Nice. Um, dude, John Panetta, dude. <laughs> There's something about him, something about his personality, I think, that really shines through. Really good, though, man. Um, honestly, I like the outdoors one better. That one had me laughing, like, pretty much the entire way through. This one had a couple of drop-off moments for me, but everything pretty much hit. Like, especially toward the end there. I really like that shit about the bread. Oh, my God. Because if you ever tried it, dude, yes, that is exactly it. Um... So I really like uh, John Panette, dude. He he is just a master at his craft. It's sad that he passed away so early. I mean, he was a big guy, though. We kind of, you know, unfortunate. Ah, uh, but damn, dude, he was so good. He was so talented. He could sing his ass off. He was really good in Broadway. 
Um, had a couple of movies that he did, and obviously known for his stand-up. Um, just a great, great, great guy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, I, I love John Panette. I love his work. This was great. Obviously laughed quite a few times through it. What more needs to be said? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jack with Skate Nation. Out. Do it! Just do it! Just do it!